Hi guys, just a short video of my sliding underground base I made from the tutorial from Nims Gaming on YouTube. And here we go. Okay, so as you can see, we're outside the base right now. Sorry for the jerky movement, but my recording software doesn't really like my computer playing Minecraft and recording at the same time, so I'll do my best. As you can see, we're outside right now, and there's a big pile of grass right there that's hiding my T flip flop. And then down there, those humps over there to hide my wiring for the sticky pistons, which open and close my base. As you can see, there's a little bit of wood right there, which is my wooden stairs to help get in and out of the base easily if you're in a hurry without jumping. And you can probably see the button behind the vines right here. So let's walk up to the button. And here we go. As you can see, it's pretty basic base right now. As I said before, I am just started making this base two days ago, and I don't haven't had much time to add to it, so I'll do my best. I'll click the button, and it'll close. As you can see, we are now in the base, and it's closed. You'll see that there's a straight hallway right here, and some redstone on the ground here. That is my kind of slightly crappy version out of sliding pocket door. I haven't really had much time to experiment with redstone but and putting it above the door and everything. So I just made it simple, put the redstone and kind of left it exposed with a simple switch. Right click, and it opens. This room is kind of just a storage room. You can see there's a bunch of chests and torches to help light it up. And you may see it on the inside if someone wants to. Right here they can close the door from the inside. And meaning anyone who wants to try and come in from the outside won't be able to unless the person on the inside opens the door for them. So we'll open the door and leave. Again, sorry for the really, really jittery movements because my software is only averaging a minute maximum of like six frames per second so really sorry for that I'll try and get that fixed for my next video as you saw when we came in there's a straight hallway and then there's a hallway going to the right we're in the hallway going to the right right now as you can see there's a stairs we're going down right now torches to help keep it lit up and then a stairway going up and then a stairway to the left that's going up and then you go up another stairs another stairs and here's a door walk through that door and then continue walking and there's another door here you open that door and you come out to a nice big pond so if you need easy access to water and you're in, in this particular area of my base you can access water right there I plan on ma plan on making some changes to that as soon as possible and then go back down the stairs up the stairs again through the Second door. Down the other set of stairs and right past the stairs we came up came up from, from the hallway. There's another door right here. And this just brings you out here. Kind of a really low set down area. You can probably see there's torches right here and it's more lit up underneath there, but that'll be saved for a later video in the future. So it's nothing much else to see out here so let's go back inside let's go, let's go back into the let's go back into the base and we I'll just give a quick overlay of how I did it it's the wiring is the same as the tutorial on Nit, on Nims gaming YouTube channel because it had to be the same as he specified in the video. It doesn't have to be covered up like he does, but the wiring has to be virtually the same. Unless he specifically says it doesn't have to be the same, along with the design on the outside. It doesn't have to be covered up exactly like his. Unless he says specifically it has to be. So we'll right click the button. Wait for it to open up. And then up we go into the vines over here again 
click the button. As you can see, the base is closed with two dirt spots. And as you can see, we're up on a hill. We have lots of water here. There's lots of mountains. I plan to go exploring there later. May make a few Let's Play videos on that. And, yeah, I'll do a quick overview of what these humps are. If you didn't catch it in the beginning, I said that this this kind of dirt pile right here is my T-flip-flop. It's the cover for the T-flip-flop switch to help wire it up and make it work. The T-flip-flop was hooked up to this button right here, which is concealed underneath these vines. And that's the T-flip-flop cover, and here's the cover for the wiring for the sticky pistons, which open and do the opening and closing of the doors. And the, the sticky pistons had to be up higher because they were up closer to the ground, but the redstone wiring connecting each set of sticky pistons together, if you left click here, you'll see that we're down in the redstone area, and yeah. You'll see that the redstone goes all the way down there and eventually turns to the left and hooks up the T flip flop. Now, let me get out of here now. So yeah, that's my wiring, and it's fairly simple if you follow if you follow the video. It's really simple. Of course, some people could try it by themselves. I know some people do, and if they do, good luck to them. And that's really it to, for my video, guys. As you can see, we're on the outside again, torches to light up, so it's kind of easy to spot if you're looking for it. Once again, I'd like to thank Nims Gaming for giving this tutorial out and helping out a, I assume, what I assume would be a lot of people to make this, because some people aren't good with redstone, some people are experienced with it. So once again, thank you to Nims Gaming, and keep, keep tuned to my channel for more videos. Thanks, guys. Bye.